Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to define and explain the difference between the cantilever beam and the propped cantilever beam. Some people have thoughts that these two types of the beams are similar, but they are very different from each other. So I will explain with the help of an examples and figures to show how they are different from each other. First of all, the cantilever beam is a type of the beam which has only one support. While the prop cantilever beam is a type of the beam which has two supports. This is a big difference between these two types of the beam. So in cantilever beam, if I draw the beam, so it looks like this. If this is a beam, has certain depth, so it is provided only with one support here. So we see here, this is only one support provided here on the left side, we call them a fixed support. So where only one fixed support is provided on one end of the beam, in the other end of the beam is free end. So then this type of the beam is known as the cantilever beam. And in this case, when the load is acting on the beam, for example, this is in a load, vertical load. So the whole reactions, if I remove this, so then the whole load will be taken by this only this support Ry. Similarly, when their horizontal load is acting on the beam, then the only this support can take the horizontal load. Similarly, the moment will also be taken by this support M. So it can take all these three reactions at one end. While in the other case, in prop cantilever beam, it is provided, if I draw it like this, then it is also provided with a roller support. So, this type of the beam has two supports. We see here, this one is a fixed support. Like the cantilever. And this support is a roller support. So, it is now two supports. So, that's why when the beam has one, one fixed support on one end, and the other end is not free but with a roller support. So then this type of the beam will be called as the prop cantilever beam. So now in this case, when the vertical load, for example, I draw it. For example here, when the load is acting on this beam, vertical load, then it will be distributed R1 in R2. It will be distributed into two parts. So half of the load will be taken by this support and half of the load will be taken by this support. But when the horizontal load is acting on the beam, then it will be only taken by this support because a roller support cannot take any horizontal load. Rx is equal to zero in this case. Similarly, the moment can only be resisted by this support because the roller support cannot take any moment. It is zero here on the roller support. So this is the major difference that it can take the, the vertical load acting on this beam is distributed into two parts. Half of the vertical load here and half of the vertical load here. So hope you guys understand the major difference that when the load is acting on the beams, in case of the cantilever beam, it is only taken by one end, by one support, while in case of the prop cantilever beam, it is distributed into two supports. Hope you guys understand. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.